Saginaw, Michigan. What was once a prosperous industrial city, it has declined to a shell of its former self. Population has dwindled, unemployment has grown substantially, and with crime and poverty at their heights, blight and visual pollution has increased within the city. However, some residents are not content with this. With a sense of pride for their city, they're ready to reimagine what it could be. That group is Paint Saginaw, and they're looking to put a fresh coat of paint on their town. I was driving around Saginaw and I noticed how bad the city looked with all the boarded up buildings in the downtown area. And I kept talking to my friends about it, like, you know, we should do something, we should do something. And a good friend of mine was just like, yeah, you're right, we should. Uh, you should. Let's go do that today. So we just kind of started. We bought some paint ourselves and started painting up boarded up buildings. And then people started asking, once they found out who was doing it, they started asking me if I would help paint up board of the buildings and do other community projects and work with their, their organization to make things around their community centers and stuff nicer. The group has been met with appreciation from the community and hopes to increase their efforts. The future of Paint Saginaw, uh, what I'd like to see really happen and what I believe is going to happen is that by networking with other organizations, working with anti-crime prevention groups, um, every civic organization we can find in the city to work with, uh, most are willing to, to work now. Um, working with the museums, adding a lot of validity to, to the group, and we hopefully will accomplish uh, this summer what we couldn't accomplish before, which was basically large blitzes where we go into neighborhoods and paint several buildings and several houses at a time, as uh, well as creating kind of an arts and cultural loop for the city of Saginaw where these paintings that we're doing can actually become part of tours where people can come to Saginaw, uh, see what we've got, uh, and basically kind of give them a reason to come home again. With each new project, they hope to reach their desired effect on the community. So we put the murals up to kind of get them to think, you know, to, to, to look at something and, and, and to get hope and to see, you know, a fresh idea, to see new color in the city, to see change happening. You know, the more they, the more that they can see change happening, the city's getting better. People spend tons of money on projects to make cities better that nobody sees any results from. And this is, it's, it's, it's visual. I mean, people, we want to see results. By doing this, people, like, can relate to it and they can, and they can see it and they can talk about it. And it's something to talk about when a new mural goes up, people talk about it. So by putting art up on buildings and houses and doing public art is it that it gives people a sense of pride. It gives them a sense that you know their neighborhood's getting better, that they, they live in an area that's nicer, in an area that actually has culture and color and, and basically a life to it. And so by, by putting up the art, you know, it lifts people's heart, lifts people's spirit. You know, in, in areas where you've got a lot of crime, um, by painting murals on buildings, uh, people don't commit crimes in areas that are well kept. In a city where the few remaining bright spots are getting dimmer, Pink Saginaw has been doing its part to make it just that much brighter. From Delta College's The Palm, this has been Charlie Drake reporting.